1985, I was a conducting fellow at Tanglewood. Now, what it meant to be a fellow back in 1985 was, was of great value. Uh, this was a specific class that happened at Tanglewood, and there were a certain select group of conductors selected to this class of fellows every summer. Uh, there are a few well-known fellows uh, in our life. Mr. Bernstein was a fellow. Seiji Ozawa was a fellow. Zubin Mehta was a fellow. Claudio Bado was a fellow. Um, I was a fellow. I mean, there I'm leaving out many, of, and, and all would be names that you know. Um, it was a, a prestigious class, and it was, I was the class of 1985. And Mr. Bernstein had taken a short respite from returning to Tanglewood for, for a, a couple of summers, and that summer of 85 was marking his return. So everyone was really with great anticipation of his returning to his home, Tanglewood, to his orchestra, the Boston Symphony. And, and I thought, wow, I just can't wait to meet him. So we're standing there very, very studious and very alert. And in walks Mr. Bernstein. And almost the first, I mean, we all applauded. And, you know, where Mr. Meyer Gustav was shaking his hand. Hey, Mr. B you know, Lenny, it's great to see you again. Da -da -da -da. And, and he looked around the room and he's like looking. And he goes, where's the cowboy from Texas? And I, I was kind of stunned because, you know, I didn't really look like a cowboy. I mean, I mean, I had longish hair, I had a beard. I mean, you know, I was looking like we looked in the 80s. And so I think he's talking about me because I knew the other people. One was from Holland, one was from Israel, you know, one was G Jim, and he's not a Texan. And so I thought, I guess that's me. He goes, yeah, you know, I've never met a conductor from Texas before. And that was the kind of the beginning of our relationship. And from that point on, I, I rarely heard the word Carl from him, uh, from his staff, yes, but, but, but ba basically when I was around Mr. B from that moment forward, I was called Cowboy.